Namaste. Grand Rising Earth Sign. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your next 48 hours. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, we can't wait. Planetary energies are the Skullduggerous Moon is in Leo, trining the Sun in Aries. Absolutely fabulous. We love a trine. Why? It creates harmony, right? Brings opportunity and also reminds you to what? Beware of the comfort zone. It's kryptonite to a big cat. Pwah! Yes, baby. Let's dive in. With the Moon in Leo, trining the Sun in Aries, Stick to what feels comfortable, Earth signs. This will help you feel more emotionally at ease and secure. Take care of yourself and your own needs. Mm -hmm. As I always say, darling dears, love all, trust a few, but always paddle your own canoe. Right, let's dive in. Let's get your runestone. got two of them darling dears when you cast runes you read them from right to left okay your first one lean in big cat is swallow sun energy in the upright mm -hmm. represented by the letter s the number 76 77 78 and 79 this speaks about um your life full style dears i'm getting the impression that you're having a victory in your health Maybe you've chosen a new healthier routine, healthy eating, decided to what? Protect thine energy, me, energy, I nearly said enemies. Wow, Freudian slip meant to come out. Protecting your energies from enemies, known and unknown. Mm -hmm. The sun is big cat Leo energy, the fifth house. The fifth house is about um, romance, dating, the SEX. It's also your creativity, darling dears. Some of you may even be wanting to take a risk Kicking your way into a new area or field. Maybe it's entrepreneurship. It could be higher studies. It's getting to what? Something tangible. You're an earth sign. You're going after the bag, darling dear, and the knowledge. Quiet as it's kept. Mm -hmm. It's also the house of what? Progeny, your children, and the childlike spirit, darling dears. It's also a reminder to what? Tap into your energies. This is another way that earth signs can find a way to what? Um, decompress and be more comfortable as they plan, plot and strategize conquering the world love it the next one is what? manas, yes baby manas, the full card in tarot represented by the letter M as well as the numbers 4, 5, 6 and 7 manas is the full card and again it's about taking a risk darling dears Many of you are on the edge of something different, something new. You weren't built to fit inside the box, darling dear. This is about you thinking outside of the box. This is um, the fall, as I, I may have said, is air as well as Uranus energy. Uranus is about sudden change, but it's also about not living according to the beat of everyone else's drum. Some of you are throw, throwing around, banding around the idea of a new, a new, a new job, a new line of study doing things in a different way but it's according to your own program your own plan this is part of your evolution darling dears mm -hmm. some of you may be even be adventurous enough to what be open to a new relationship there will be an age difference in you guys you won't be the same age but it's also about um Yes, we do understand Proverbs 4.23, guard your heart for from your heart springs the well of life. Guard means not turn it cold and black. This is also coming off the dredges of maybe a terrible relationship. You can learn to love again, darling dear. But as I always say here at Don't Get Smoke Central, we do the boosty badass. All must be examined and interviewed. Mm -hmm. Look before you leap, darling dears, when it comes to relationships or matters of the heart. It also speaks about somebody releasing themselves from some kind of addictive behavior or addictions. This is a fresh start and a new beginning for you, darling dear. The fall always comes through with new beginnings. But the sun, 
the sun is also telling us what swallow is also telling us that this is something that is spiritually guided this is ascension on the tableau for you darling dears this new beginning love it i don't hate it mm -hmm. let's carry on darling dears i feel inclined to get a, a room stone. Again, we have the energy of the fall, as well as what? The magician, Mercury, as well as air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Mm -hmm. the we've also got the fall as well as the magician energy. The magician is about what? Um, fast movement, something coming in with a quickness, darling, this, but it's about having the tools. Um, some of you are waiting for a sign like divine timing. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? This is your sign to take a leap of faith, take a risk in a new direction, darling dear. The sun is shining on you. You have the energy, this new energy, this new glow about you. For others, this speaks about some kind of a nice surprise, something stable coming towards you, but it's something born of your own actions. This is also about your backbone, darling dear. Your backbone's made from steel. This is getting over a circumstance or situation and letting go of the energies um, around said circumstance and situation. This could be from a job, um, a relationship, a family member, a co-worker, whatever the paradigm is for you. This is realizing the emotions you was holding onto a situation and letting the light of the Most High, the universe, Father, God, Mother Isis, shine down on you, darling dear. It's also about you what? Keeping your self-esteem high, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Love it. I don't hate it. The energy, <laughs> the energy of the one blank, darling dears. Lean in, big cat. Lean in. This is about. It's about an enemy, darling dear. Somebody who's extremely manipulative. And again, it's about letting go. Someone who threatened your happiness. Either they're doing it now or they did it in the past. I'm feeling like past energy that is about to be released because you realise how much it has a hold on you and what kind of a block it's created in your life. Even though the person, place or thing may not be physically there, you have to let go of it subconsciously as well as consciously, darling dears. Mm. Right, let's get... The Oracle Ancestral message around this. For my Earth energy, Sun, Moon and Rising. While you're at it, darling dear, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I'm kicking my way through these tarot streets again. These were sticking up. Fertility, this is represented by the Empress card in tarot. This is about you knowing your worth and adding tax. For others, this is a new fertile cycle for you. But this is represented by the maple. In the UK, we used to do something like called, um, when I was at primary school, this is a long time ago, before Joseph's coat was many colours. We used to do may uh, maple dancing mm -hmm, around May time. Yes, darling, dear. So this is about dancing, being free. This is, can you see the phoenix rising from the ashes? You are rising up from the ashes, letting go of a certain circumstance and situation. Something that has been building up or something that you that has built up past energy but may is very important for you darling dears as you let it go something big is about to be gifted to you it could be in the form of relationship it could be the support of a mentor or even if you have a business darling dears this is new patrons coming your way because you have to remember sometimes um the blockage could be created from something that you have going on subconsciously this is about you tapping into your futuristic thinking get into your subconscious get into the bottom and the core and letting it go Love it. The Empress is represented by Earth as well as Venus energy. And Venus is about the what? The money, darling dear. As well as what? Beautiful things. Mm -hmm. Be more sensual with yourself. It's also a bonding energy. Some of you are having the urge at this moment in time, Earth signs, to be more social. Maybe you've been cut off or you've isolated yourself. Self-isolation. Mm -hmm. Coming out, darling dear. The um, Venus also rules the urinary tract, um, the throat and the larynx. But it's definitely about your relationships, darling dears. Venus also rules Friday. And today is what? Friday, darling dear. Absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. And also it's represented by the throat chakra. The throat chakra is about your communications, darling dears. Whether written, um, sound, 
or um, listening, darling dear. Some of you have excellent speaking skills and it's time for you to what? Speak up, step up to the mic. It's also covered by Archangel Raphael. Call him at any time. Venus also rules Gemini as well as Libra energy and the direction of West. That's a message for someone. We also have the awakening of you, darling India. As you let go, the dull yellow is somebody who's whomsoever this person is or a group of people that you've let go of, darling India. Can you see the dull yellow of envy, jealousy, and hate? Good God. Yes, they don't like this new beginning you've had for you, yourself, darling India. Something that you've carved out. But it speaks about you, what? Being thoroughly, thoroughly in your awakening. This is a new season for you, darling Indias. This has also got the lovely colour of purple. Purple is about what wisdom, because wisdom is for the wise. It also speaks about the dignity that is around you. You've got some kind of nobility about you, darling dears. Your majesty, love it. I don't hate it. Mm. Let's get the bottom card. Yes, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Many of you are high priests or priestesses, darling dears. Some of you are afraid to leave a situation because of the responsibilities that you hold. Could be financial, darling dear. The divine is telling you to take this leap of faith. This is your time. This is your what? Ascension. You are being spiritually protected as well as guided. Because you have all of the tools. You have the badass alchemist ways, the magician and the high priestess. For others, you'll be meeting a partner that is on the same spiritual frequency as yourself. Base of the deck, darling dear. Good golly and gosh. There's a lot of people at your back, darling dear, disrespecting your name, calling you everything but a child of God. Well, that's their business. And it's also people, maybe you you was something, a stable factor in their life, darling dear. Maybe you forgave them one too many times until you didn't. Mm -hmm. They need to put some respect on your name. Come through, Birdman. Posh, clap. Yeah, somebody's really dis disrespecting you. The five, the five is about change. It's about conflict, darling dear. Conflict and instability, which brought change in your life. You freed yourself from circumstances or situations, darling dears. And whomsoever you left in the past, they're not happy about it. Mm -hmm. The energy of the five in numerology rules um, Virgo as well as Pisces energy, darling dears. But it was a constructive freedom for you. You have to embrace the versatility you've gifted yourself when you moved on, darling dear. It also speaks about travel. Some of you are about to what? Book some kind of travel. We already saw this with the magician energy. Mm -hmm. Love it. I don't hate it. This is you in manifestation mode, darling dear. Some of you are about to manifest some kind of a trip, a journey, not only spiritually, but it could also speak about it's coming through quickly. It's short, a short trip, darling dear. Maybe to, to recoup, recoup. It could be a short vacay, a staycation, whatever it is. It's time for you to take a break and put yourself first. Right, let's get some tarot on the tableau, darling dears. Let me use my original right away deck. Face of the deck, yes! Someone's on a knife's edge, darling dears. And it took, took, ooh, they can't even, listen, they're talking about you so much that they're stuttering and spluttering like Sylvester the cat. It also speaks about some kind of medical, some kind of surgery, darling dears. Somebody's wishing some kind of illness on you. They want you to be all caught up with what? Pains in your, in your joints? Mm-hmm. Or you're going to be hearing of somebody having a surgery and it didn't go very well. They're on a knife's edge, but it's a lot of a lot of scandalous talk, darling. They're salacious. And as I said, they call you everything but a child of God, my earth signs. Because of this new awakening, this is about you tapping into your intuition, listening to your discernment. You left a situation. This is what is bringing this new evolution in your life, darling, dear. But the dull yellow is still following you. People expected you to fade away, darling, dear. Well, they're gonna, they're not putting respect on your name, darling, dear. And they took you through cycles. And what did I say? They're trying to hex your everything. Return to sender. Mm -hmm. Good golly and gosh. They're trying to hex you, big cat. Oh, wow. Well, when they're pointing that finger, three fingers are pointing back at them, darling, dear. Whenever you wish badness on someone, you must always remember to dig a deeper grave for yourself. Good golly and gosh. Maybe it was a partner. Maybe they're looking for what? A nurse of a purse, darling. Yeah, you left someone behind. Somebody who's going through a mental break. 
And this person is not a truth teller, they're an airbender, darling dears. Energy around my earth signs, yeah. As I said, hard work. This is about success, darling. You're coming aware, being focused on a job. Um, or even um, getting higher knowledge, higher education. Look, can you deal with any more pentacles? This goes to nine of peas, darling, dears. Single as F, darling, dear. But this is also about being drama free, listening to your higher mind, minding your own business, watering your own garden. King of Pentacles, this is somebody who is a game changer, darling dears. Look where his eyes are. When you read the tarot, look to see where they're looking. This person is looking towards the future, making future plans. But it's a you're wondering about the hard work that you're going to have to actually put in. And look, you're being watched. As you're watching your future and minding your own business, they're watching you. Page energy, darling dear. If this is not your progeny, this is somebody who's bitter and jealous. They're, they're counting your pentacles, darling. Counting your pentacles. Looking at the future that you're creating for yourself. Yes, this person was disloyal to the core. A pretender to your throne, darling, dear. And did I say there was Brock Pocketus? Buddy, have you got a dime? Disloyal, darling, dear. OMG. Mm -hmm. This person is stuck in their ways, darling, dears. And a lot of karma is on them. I told you. You banished them and said, get thee behind, get thee behind me, Satan's strongest, most diligent worker. Yes. Yes. What did I say? You know your worth and you've added tax. You could be the mother of their child or they could be the father of your progeny, darling dears. Whatever the situation is, darling dear. This is about you sitting on your throne. If not, it could also be you be about to birth something new, a new business, a new business idea, which is about to take off right somebody's wishing that they what treated you better but they're lying about the situation good god as you see things from a different perspective look the hangman in the reverse you've already released one leg mm -hmm. you're about to release the other you're about to do your tada moment love it water as well as neptune energy good golly and gosh three major arcana and you know how i love a throuple why? Because it's part of the 369. Tesla says it's the key to the universe, darling dear. Full on manifestation mode. You've got the badass alchemist ways. And again, it speaks about a short journey. Some kind of an impronto trip, darling dear. You're about to, you're going to, that money's going to, it's going to be manna from heaven, darling dear. Coming out of nowhere. Clarify this king of Pentacles. You may even have two people, right? In coming towards you in the future, darling dears, realizing that you are in your empress mode. You have a king of pentacles and a king of cups. But this is also what? Mastering your emotions, darling dears, going forward. You no longer be what? Pulled about like taffy with your emotions. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Yes. And it's also what? Because the king of cups is somebody that takes the time. They, they're not up in their feelings. They take the time to consider all angles. Of a new idea, a new business, um, a new line of study. Love it. Yes, baby. Moving on calmly. Mm -hmm. Moving to a new GPS, darling. Yeah, and it's also what? A new mental state of mind. One which is abundant. Yeah. Listen. Whosoever's watching you, darling, dear, that is what was disloyal to the core or is the disloyal to the core. They're struggling and juggling. Yes, baby. The blind amongst the blind. Mm -hmm. what's this but you couldn't give a good golly or a gosh your back is turned continue to focus on your vision darling dear remember conceive believe and achieve yes baby and the hand of god a new beginning and this ace of cups reminds me of what multiple streams of income darling dear somebody somebody or somebody's is counting your pentacles and they they know that you are a clear thinker they know that you're highly intelligent and it stressed them out to the core darling dears boss up mode you bossed up on a mitch or a bitch somebody that that wished well when you if this situation has ended look wishing badness on you spells are not just written down or maybe they got their spells from google spell i don't know this person was thinking clearly they wanted to take you down darling dear they did but you bossed up on them right you see that they're disloyal and this could also speak about look in juxtaposed position to the empress and emperor is provided a divinely guided partner somebody coming towards you in the future stage but you have to continue on the 
on the um this on continue with this new futuristic thinking beginning darling India, but you have to take the action take the leap of faith darling India. this is also what the ending of a contract in a job darling India, a situation that no longer brings you any happiness judgment because you're about to get a second chance darling dears and somebody would love a second chance of you but you've already dropped that burden god god ah, the unhappy one god god the unhappy and the unlucky one would like to come out from the cold oh oh hell no listen you ain't taking that rusty cup of opium how now brown cow you're like feet don't fail me now strength card spiritually gifted and guided and strong, and it's a reminder of what? To not be tempted off your flip-flop, darling dear. We don't go backwards, we go forwards. In the words of Abraham Lincoln, love it. When the sun shines, it shines forever. Wow. Love it, Earth sign. This is a beautiful read. Your money looks good. You've sorted out your mental and your physical state. You're releasing certain issues in the past from situations that cause you, it, was, it caused a lot of emotional difficulty, darling dears. And you are coming out of the cold. This is a from rags to riches story. Baby, securing everything, your mind, your body, and your soul. You are protected from the, what? The unhappy ones, the unhappy and the unlucky, right? Who's living in a what? The rinse and repeat of tower moments. And they're stuck in their ways. And what they sense spiritually to what attack you, darling dear, is on them. That negative energy has got to go somewhere as you hold on to your Ace of Cups. This new beginning, a hand of God, darling dear. For others, it could be a pregnancy or a birth. But the Ace of Cups always speaks about what? A new beginning, a new relationship, new opportunities, new chances of abundance. But it's also about the self-love that you, that you are what? Cultivating, darling dear. Love it. The healing has arrived for you continue to pour away what no longer serves you this is star card aquarius energy mm -hmm. aquarius is the 11th house this is about you um your hopes and your wishes but some of you are going to be using technology to what create this new beginning for you darling dears and you're going to be seen by many mm -hmm. love it don't hate it let's get a final message for you I'm going to use a deck that I haven't used in a while. I'm going to use the Island Island Time Wellness deck. Final messages for my Earth signs. Final message for my Earth signs. Oh, wow. Right, the Grim Reaper, a situation that you've let go right the relationship is over the situation is over you're heading towards your island of paradise and what the true love unconditional love yes self-love we've already discussed this oneness tapping into your passion true affection and attraction darling dear yes baby it's the expansion of you love it and someone is the grim reaper in the back addicted to you darling dear there was a ball and chain in your life they're watching you ascend into abundance that's their business this peeping peeper mm -hmm. they've they've relaunched the hillbilly investigations on that note i dropped me mic to love to my teesprings to love to my patreon or simply come back here or take the hop skip and jump to my tiktok where i also upload videos and as i always say don't get smoked and don't smoke yourself from the ashes baby namaste Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Big Cat Wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat.